Well, good morning, everybody. And yes, this is morning, so I've got it right today. And I'm fighting with these guys. I really debated whether to do these on the table or do them on the floor. This is Grace's kids, and they're going to be three weeks old on Wednesday. And they have a mind of their own. I love it when they're babies. They just lay wherever I put them. So this morning, we are like, we always, we've already had to quit, delete the first movie, because the one that always poops for us when we get it down here pooped all over everything and we had to take care of that. So, oh, it's a Monday morning, what can I say? So, Grace's litter is doing phenomenal. Most everybody has their eyes open. I think they all have their eyes open. So we're gonna try and give you, um, give you some weights, let you see their faces. We're gonna try and get through this. <laughs> so, I'm not gonna bother microchipping the two party ones and the little one, it, that will just take extra time. And with them this squirmy, they're really not big enough to do on the floor yet, but they're almost too big to do on the table. Oh, there. When they're babies, I can plop them down wherever I want and they stay right there. When they get to be juvenile delinquents, look how big these have gotten. There's the length of my hand. And they used to fit in my hand. So, um, oh my golly sake. Let's just do you first since you're gonna be the noisy one. This is the black and white female. I know, I know, I know. I know, I know. Are your eyes open? Yeah. I don't know if you can really see them. I gotta watch them so they don't crawl. But her eyes are pretty much open. I am zoom clear into where that's all you got's eye pictures. Um, she's doing really good. She is nice, nice and fat. They're probably gonna get another bath today. Uh, we got two people in here today. Vanessa's here and Brittany's here. So I think this afternoon we're probably going to get every, because you guys got a little bit of a crusty backside. All right. All right. She's going to scream. It's cold. Let's see what she weighs. Two pounds, 8.5. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You're fine. You're fine. You're, oh, there you go. Good deal. Gotcha. All right. I'm going to go right down the row, I think. Nobody's off the table. So let's do the peewee. And I really apologize. I was supposed to text the people that got her, her microchip number. We did microchip her. So I'm gonna give you the microchip number, at least the last four. Um, I don't put the whole chip number on because it's like 13 numbers. So her microchip number that's going on the internet today is 5581 is her microchip number. So this is the little tulip. She is crying. What a pathetic little cry. Oh, and that's a yawn. Uh, her eyes are open. She's like, where am I this morning? I know we took you away from your mom this morning. Oh my goodness sake. She's doing really good. She's really gaining nicely. Let's see what she weighs. Oh, I smell somebody. Please don't guys. One pound, 5.8, so she's doing really good. All right, and coat's really nice. Still got her long tail. That's always gonna be there. You're gonna be my long tail princess, aren't you? All right, and I'm just gonna look and see if she's turning phantom. She looks like she is turning phantom. Let me see under your tail. Yep, under her tail, she's really light colored, and that means she's gonna turn phantom. And you can kind of see her little eyebrows turning lighter. She's got some brown coming in on these legs. Oh my goodness sake, here's your buddy back. And uh, so I think in the end, she's probably gonna end up as a phantom. We'll just have, to, which this is a phantom. So we'll probably just have to wait and see where she turns. All right, I'm gonna sneak this one out. I'll microchip, um, that's the only phantom out there, right? Yeah, I'm not microchipping it. So this is the phantom. I think everybody knows her pup by now. I know, you're the one that pooped all over the place. You do it to me every week. I'm not gonna roll him around a whole lot. I don't want him to poop again. <laughs> He's doing really good. Are you awake? Do you have peepers open? Oh, I know, I'm sorry I looked at you. Oh, I know, you're gonna hate me when I put you on this cold scale. They're doing super good. Next week, we will be on the floor. We are not doing this on a table. All right, buddy, just give me five seconds. Two pounds, 10 ounces on the button. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, 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 went down, all right. We're getting to that point. They're not quite three weeks old 
and everything is scary because their eyes just opened recently. So at this point, it's like this, hide your face, put me back in where I feel safe, and uh, they're still piling all over top of each other to sleep with mom. So they're still very much baby baby, and uh, they don't like change at this point. So that will change as they get older. I need this puppy. Nope. I'm taking your pillow. Taking your pillow. All right. This is the big black puppy. Oh, I know. I need so grumpy looking. Look at that grumpy little face. He's got all these wrinkles. He's so fat. And he's got this little peepers. Are, are they still open? He's like, I'm going to scream. I know I am. Any minute, I'm going to scream. I know you're being just a good boy. I hear the microchipper. Oh, he says, here we go. Let's get him on the scale before he has a cow. All right, he is three pounds on the button. Oh my golly. So you're the heaviest by far so far, but I think your, your sleeping buddy next to you is gonna beat you. Okay, are you in? You're in. Okay, let's get Thor. I think you should just name this puppy Thor. <laughs> Oh, I know I touched the other one. Are you awake? Oh, there's kind of fat face on their little peeper sticking out. They look so, nope, oh, you're backing up. Don't back up. And don't poop while you're against me, <laughs> please. Yellow puppy poop sting. All right, let's see what he weighs. Then I'll pick him up, show you the back of him. Three pounds, 8.5. Okay. Oh, you're, you're moving, you're moving. Nope, can't be moving. Can't be moving. No, nope. You're oh, you little turkey. All right. So he's got great coat. They're shoving them all out, and he's coming <laughs> for the edge. Oh, okay. You're gonna. You buried your face. You're good. Go to sleep, and I'll slowly move away. If he feels the pressure let up too quickly, he'll keep scooting. Now he's trying to touch my arm. Anyway, uh. I can't tell him. Don't ask me about eye color at this age. Oh, good, he turned around. I really can't tell you. But I love the coats on these guys. They're nice and thick. Okay, I'm not gonna, not gonna wrestle you up. You lay down. There you go. Go to sleep. Okay. I'm gonna leave you alone. No, don't turn around. One turned around is bad enough. I'd like to turn him around. I'm gonna turn him around and put him where he was. I know you gotta lay your head on somebody. That's your thing, isn't it? You gotta lay on somebody there. Put your head right there on him and there you, there you go, got you back. All right, we're gonna pick this one up very quietly. I see them beepers though. Oh, he just opened his beepers. I know, buddy. It's a wicked world out here, isn't it? I know. We're going to be so careful with you. Do you open his peepers? Yes. He's you got your peepers open. He says, where am I? He went right to sleep when we got him down here. You can see those little brown eyebrows coming out now. Really good. I think you're going to be... Oh, you're going to be pretty if you stay phantom. And I'm pretty sure... Let me lay him on top of these guys and look. Oh yeah, he's got phantom markings under his tail. And, oh, I know, I hear you peeping noises. I can't see brown on his legs and I don't want to wrestle him around too bad. He says, I just want to go back to sleep. All right, I'm gonna wait. Oh no, my scale turned off. All right, so we're gonna weigh him, see what he weighs. He's gotta wait till it zeroes out. Oh no, don't you come at me either. All right, let's put you down. Oh no. I'm sorry, you have to have a double dose of cold pan this morning. I'm sorry. Turn it on zero. There we go. So we are two pounds, 10.5. Oop, jump, jump, jump. Okay. Coats are really nice on everybody. Everybody has a really pretty coat. This guy says, just put me down. Let me go back to sleep. They're going to get their toenails trimmed again today. There you go. Are you upset? Close your eyes. There you go. There you go. Just need to close those eyes. So they're doing great. Um, they have had their two-week worming. 
and they're gonna get their first Neopar shot, which is just a Parvo booster, nothing else in it but Parvo. And they'll get that at four weeks old, and they'll get wormed again at uh, four weeks old also. But we don't usually do it the same day. Uh, we usually do it one day and then the worming the next or vice versa. And uh, their baths will continue every week. Toenail trimming will be good every week because I noticed this one's got some really sharp ones on the edge, especially since their eyes are open and they're at that really klutzy crawl everybody stage. Okay, let me go. So they're really doing wonderful. Um, they're growing like weeds. Little peanut here has grown like crazy. Sometimes she'll react when you run your finger down there, but she's not going to do it today. Um, so at this age, they still just eat, sleep, and go to the bathroom. At about three weeks old, we're going to dump them on the ground. Uh, we're going to change their whole world. So right now they're in a welt box. That's about, I don't know, 27 by 30 inches probably with their mom on a carpet. And they cannot crawl over the top edge of it. Um, at this age, if they would get out of their welt box, they would actually get out on the cold floor. And if mom didn't go get them, they would just scream bloody murder and they would get their body temperatures would drop too much. Um, up until from birth to two weeks old, they are not able to control their body temperature at all. So if you put them on a 50 degree countertop, they turn to 50 degrees. Um, so that's one reason mom stays with them so much, especially the first two weeks, is they nurse pretty much all the time and that keeps their body temperature up because they're laying on mom all the time. So she eats, goes right back to them, lays down, curls around them. Um, by you know this point, their body's changing. They're learning to regulate their own body temperature. By three weeks, we dump them on the floor. Um, we still give them a carpeted area, and a lot of times they're not, these great big ones will have trouble walking for probably a week, week and a half maybe, um, because their legs are and their ligaments will not support the body weight until they use those legs a little bit and get some strength. Oh, I can see lots of brown coming in there. Maybe it's brown. Um, I know, I'm not letting you back up. So we usually have to put a couple carpets in there because if they get off, we, we laugh and tell them they get off their island, they can't walk. Their legs just go out like a fish or a frog and their back legs stick out and they swim. They just can't get anywhere because they have no strength to pull their bodies up off the ground. So we do keep them in a pretty large carpeted area until they learn to toddle around and walk and then we can put them on newspaper and limit the size of their carpet square and then they're good to go. So it takes a little bit of playing around with them to get them going and uh, make sure that they learn their, to get their legs under them right and they don't ruin the ligatures in the back of their, in their back legs. So. Anyway, uh, enough of puppy analogy, but they're doing really good, um, not eating or drinking, of course, anything now, and they won't do that until they can walk. And then once they walk, about three and a half to four weeks, we start them all on puppy food. Well, dog food. I don't feed puppy food anymore. Uh, puppy food is kind of a marketing tool, and they uh, people think you have to have puppy food for puppies, but you don't. You just have to have a high calorie, high fat, nutritional dog food. Um, and there's a lot of good dog foods out there that don't say puppy on the bag. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna close for now. Oh, I just got a whiff of somebody's. I love puppy breath. I think it was this one. I heard him lick his lips. So I hope you've enjoyed their video. Uh, they're just really not doing a whole lot right now, but next week things will change. They'll start getting up and moving around. And um, 14. if you have any questions at all, please feel free to give me a call and we'll talk to you soon. Have a great week.